To write the formula for lithium phosphide, we first need to recognize that we have an ionic compound here. Lithium, that's a metal, and then phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. So this is an ionic compound, and we can use these rules here to write the name for Li3P. So first we're going to write the name of the metal, that's the lithium, as it appears on the periodic table. So Li, that's lithium. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So P, that's phosphorus. We use a lowercase p. And then we're going to take the ending here and we're going to change it to IDE. That makes the name for Li3P lithium phosphide. If you were given the name here and asked to write the formula, you'd know that lithium, it's in group one on the periodic table, it's going to be one plus, that's its charge. And phosphorus, that forms ions, the phosphide ion, that's three minus. So we're going to need three of these lithium ions here to balance out the charge on the phosphide. We'll just have one phosphide. This is Dr. B with the name and formula for Li3P, lithium phosphide. Thanks for watching.